Hi guys, my name's John. This is Tank Talk Time. Uh, it's a new channel that I've created uh, for when it's raining outside because I'm a wildlife and landscape photographer mainly. So when I can't get out, I've got my second hobby here, which is my fish. Um, Two recently, this was a community tank. Um, but about three days ago, I set this up as a Malawi tank. Now I've done Malawis before, I used to breed them a long, long time ago, so you know, I knew what I was doing. It was just a case of getting the coral sand here, the ocean rock, and the Malawi. So, what this channel is for basically is to follow the growth of these baby Malawi that I have in here now, these, these little fry. It's, um, they're peacocks, so I've got some OB peacocks in there, which is short for orange blotch, so if you hear OB it's orange blotch. And there's some strawberry peacocks in there too. Um, now this is what the OB peacock will look like when it's matured. Absolutely stunning. And now this is what the strawberry peacock could look like when it's matured. Both absolutely beautiful fish. Now when I say could look like, it's because with peacocks and things like that, the coloration on all the different fish is different. So I could have 10 fish from the same parents and they could all look completely different. All their markings are different, different stripes, different color gradations on their bodies. So you never know what you're going to get. It's like a pick a mix. Now, what this channel is for is to basically, as I said, it's to follow the growth of these babies. So I'll be doing weekly updates for you guys. Um, on their growth. If I have any tank mates, I'll be doing a video of me adding the fish to the to the tank for you, like almost like an unboxing, but it'll be an unbagging because I don't think I'll be placing any box orders yet. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to also get some um, Mabuna in there, which is a different type of Malawi. There are three different types. You got peacocks, which is in there now, um, Mabuna, which are kind of herbivores more. Um, they will eat a bit of meat, but they're more of a plant-based diet, so that's why I've got the greenery in there at the back. And then there's haps, which are pretty much the same as peacocks to be fair. Um, just a variety, a variety of more colours. So also in there is some um, Corridoris, some Agassi Corridoris, and there's a bronze Corridoris in there as well for the cleanup. And there's also um, two Placos in there as well. Um, I will be getting rid of one of the bristle nose. But um, I was swapping it out for a different placo, so I will be having two placos in there still. So if you guys have never kept Malawi cichlids before, they're an African species from Lake Malawi, funny enough, and uh, they require a higher pH than normal fish do, so they like it a bit harder. So that's what this ocean rock does. It's a, it acts as a buffer and it raises that pH up to about an eight, eight point two. And uh, same as the ocean rock as well, that also brings it up to a nice nice high pH for them. And as you can see, they're absolutely loving it in there. You can probably just see them here, swimming around behind me. For being in the tank just a couple of days, they've settled in really, really well. When I first used to come to this tank near here, they would dash straight into the hole behind the rock there. But now as you can see, they're getting more used to me being sat here. And, you know, they're swimming all around. There's one, you know, coming right back here. As with any fish, when you buy a load of fish, there is always a favourite, and there's a little guy in there, I'll show you towards the end of the video, but there's a little guy in there now, I think he's going to be possibly tank boss, um, if not he's going to be the most vibrant fish in that tank I reckon, just by the, the darkness and the, the patterns on him now, so I can't wait to see him grow and mature and, and see how he turns out, I say he, it could still be a she, but with it being really really dark, I'm, I'm tending to lean towards leaning towards he more than anything. Um, you see behind me as well. I don't know if you can see it very well. I've also got a wave maker in there just for the added water movement because the the peacocks do like a bit more water movement. Um, that one's not doing a fantastic job, so I am going to be getting another one. It's not really blowing out as much water as I would hope, so I will be getting another wave maker soon. So. Again, when that goes in, I'll do a video and I'll show you guys the difference between that one there at the moment, which you can barely see any flow on, and then when I get the new one, which will be hopefully completely different. Um, yeah, anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get you guys to what you came here for, the fish.
So, now you've met the fish, I'd like to show you the underneath of the tank and what I've got filtering in this 250 litre fish tank. So, basically in this one here, I got this little filter here. I think it's got a primary filter, but I'm not too sure. I've never used them before, um, but it came with the fish tank. And from what I can see, it's been doing a fantastic job. It's basically got all the cylinder in here is just full of sponge filters. So before it even goes into my main filter, it comes down through this here, through all these filter levels in this one here, and then back through the back of the filter here into my main one in this one. So in this one here, I got this one. So this is a 1400, so it's cycling my tank quite a few times. And with any filter in any fish tank, um, you know, people, are, you know, people at the shops and things like that will always tell you, and um, people have been keeping fish for a long time will always tell you, you need to cycle your tank through at least four times. Okay, so what that means is if your tank is a 200 litre fish tank, you need an 800 litre filter. So a filter that's going to be filtering through 800 litres of water per hour. Okay, so this one here does 1,400 litres per hour. So combined with this one, I've definitely got enough filtration on this 250 litre fish tank. Um, the water's cloudy at the moment still, as I said, I've only got them, I only put all this stuff in a, a couple of days ago. Um, but there is a large pleco in there and he is digging up the sand constantly. So the water's remaining cloudy for a minute. I mean, when, when he goes to sleep, the water settles down. But as you saw in the video in this bottom right hand corner here, he's got a cave thing that he's dug out. And there, there's just sand everywhere. So that's why, yeah. So that's why the tank's still a bit cloudy, but it is clean. You know, um, there's no ammonia or nitrates or nitrates or anything in there. So as I said, uh, when I set this tank up, I did keep community fishing here before, so I know that all the filter and everything else is cycled properly. Plus, a friend of mine bought over his filter as well, and we squirted that in there for the extra bacteria. Um, he had it cycling in the tank for a couple of weeks for me. Um, we brought that in there as well, just to just you know, just to be safe, because I did drain this tank down 100%. Um, it put, took, all, took all the gravel out, filled it back in with sand again. So there was a big, big changeover. So we had to just for precautionary measures, we added that extra, extra um, bacteria in there. So I haven't had any issues yet doing it that way, and. Uh, I don't think I will this time. Obviously, I'm going to be doing another water change um, in a couple of days. I do my water changes on a Wednesday, so I call it Wet Floor Wednesday. Um, but obviously, people do it whenever. But I do when I set, freshly set up a tank. I do do weekly water changes. That's that's just a must. Um, and always add always add your tap safe too. Um, if not, you could be losing a lot of fish very quickly, especially with the water around here. It's not very good at the moment. But, um, so you've also got your medical treatments as well, so your Pimifix, which is like for fungal infections. There's anti-white spot and fungus stuff here. And also, I do have anti-hair algae, but as I said, I'm not going to be using that because I do want this hair algae to build up for when I get the Mabuna, so they've got something to, to peck at and, and gnaw on while they're in there. So yeah, so that's my, that's my filtration system. The walls and the sides are covered in sponges to keep the noise out so it's not very noisy. Uh, same down here, there's a sponge that runs across the floor, stop any vibrations and things like that. It's, it's very quiet. Once I close these doors, you can barely hear it. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. Compared to fish tanks that I've had in the past, that is absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you could see me while I'm sat in this little corner over here. Um, as I said this is a new channel. Um, I do have my photography channel, which is J Welsh Photography. Um, so definitely head over and check that out if you like, you know, nature or wildlife. I do wildlife and landscape photography mostly. So definitely head over and check that out. Um, if not, just stick to the the fish channel like this one here. And uh, as I said, I'll be updating this uh, weekly. And hopefully, you get to see the growth of all the little babies and, and watch them as they, as they start to get their collar and then we'll introduce some um, tank mates I think I've got a, a ruby red coming I'll post a picture of a ruby red now for you so I've got one of those coming I think it's about the same sort of size about an inch, inch and a half 
But um, by the time I get him, because he's still, um, what's the word? He's still in quarantine. He's still in quarantine at the moment. So once he comes out of quarantine, I'll be getting him. So these should be about the same size as him. Hopefully by the time uh, by the time I can get him. That's this, there's a little this little Malawi here right in the middle. That's that's my favourite. I think it's definitely going to be a male. He's really dark. His stripes are really, really dark. Compared to these other ones that are light that you probably saw in the video, um, there's a really dark one in there. I think he's going to be absolutely stunning. I can't wait for him to mature. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed um, this video. As I said, this is a new side of the thing for me. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning it all. I do do it for my world of photography, but I've only just started now with the fish. So. Go gentle on me. Um, please like and subscribe if you liked it. You don't have to, um, but I would, have, you know, it would be greatly appreciated. It helps me, you know, get views and things like that. Get my videos out there, so you know, that would be that would be a massive help. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in a week's time, and I'll catch you in the next one.